Hey guys, it's Ingrid with Care Tutti, and I am here with some happy mail. And this mail is from Holly, and if you remember, um, Holly, I had made the the loaded Christmas envelope for her, the first one I have with all the like fun colors. And so I'll link that below, and then I'll also link, I think Holly has a YouTube channel, and so I'll link that below as well. So, Holly, I'm so sorry that I am just now getting to it. Um, I've been swamped, you know, with the holidays and everything. So, and um, as you guys are gonna see, I have a lot of swaps going on right now, so I will be doing videos for them. And I didn't wanna open this until I got to film the video. So, I see here Holly packaged something special for me. So, let me just make sure I'm in frame. Okay. And this is so cute. She did a little box. And I'm gonna be using this in my December daily and this ribbon. I'm gonna try to take it off so I can preserve the ribbon. What is it? Oh, 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 I love the cupcake liner. This is a squishy. It's a squishy. Okay, so hang on a second because my daughter is going to flip out. Okay, actually, I'll film the video and then we'll call her at the end so that she can see it because she's going to go nuts. So let me, let's see can see this so it's like foam you know what it reminds me of like the pool noodle oh my gosh Holly this is too much <laughs> who's jealous of me right now look at this <laughs> okay we could sit here all day doing this Okay, oh my gosh, this is so great, Holly. Oh, thank you so much. Look at those little sprinkles. How cute. Thank you, thank you, I love it. Love it, love it. And she packaged it with some little um, paper shreds. So cute, look at that. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. And I will start with the loaded envelope. Or <laughs> oh my gosh how wow oh I love it I love it okay the air is blowing in here look at all this goodness actually let me get in the middle oh my gosh Holly this is too much. <gasps> Look at that. Oops, oops, oops. I dropped the lollipop. Stick that back in here. Okay. Holly, I don't want to take it apart. It's so beautiful. Like, I don't want to... Oh, this is great. I don't, I don't even know what to do with it because I love it. I seriously, hold on, let me go back. I'm using like a little rug. I thought it would be kind of festive. Okay. Ah, oh, I do not want to open it. All right, let's go down here. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay. <sighs> I'm taking a deep breath because I do not want to take it apart. And you know what? I did not take any pictures and I need to. So actually, I'm going to put you on pause for one second. I'm gonna take some pictures and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that. I am back and uh, I have a confession. I just unwrapped everything in the loaded envelope and I was so excited and I finished <laughs> taping when I look up and I was not recording. So I tried to put it back together and I'm gonna try to repeat everything that I said. Oh, I'm so bummed. I can't believe I did that. So um, that's the uh, 
gosh, this is like the third time I've done that. But anyways, okay, so I'm sorry you're going to see that I did not put it back exactly the way it was. Um, I didn't look at a picture or anything. I just tried to do it from memory. So, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Ew. <laughs> I can attest to the fact that my reaction to it was complete awe. Holly, I can't even put into words how much I love this. It is so cute. Your details are impeccable. I love every morsel in here. So, okay, let's start. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we'll start with, um, I had said, I think that um, this might be a digital paper line because I haven't seen it, but that doesn't really mean much. Um, but these guys that she has here, and she's got them propped up on probably foam. Yeah, on foam, like triple foam um, little squares. And then she made this adorable flare. And so here you can see the little snowman. Here's the um, penguins. Here's the little birdies that you see here. And then a mitten. And this is super cute. And Holly, is this a punch that you used here? Because this looks like it could be hanging in a store. It's so cute. You'll have to tell me what that is. I absolutely adore this. And um, I can say now after seeing everything, um, the texture in the envelope is so amazing. Everything has texture, like nothing is flat. I love it, starting from the squishy to the flare to the, okay, you guys will see in a second. <laughs> I'm ahead of myself because I already saw, I already cheated and peeked. Anyways, look how cute are those. Definitely going into my December daily. And then look at this, I think, did you make this, Holly? It's so cute. It's a little um, snowman made out of felt, and then the edges are stitched, and it looks hand-stitched. So if you didn't do it, super cute um, that you got it. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's going on my desk. And then she gifted me some beautiful um, bling here, some rhinestones, and they're like a... Um, I don't know what color blue this is. It's not turquoise, it's like a light blue. It's beautiful, it's a, like a frosty snow or winter blue, it's so pretty. And the other thing that you're gonna see throughout this thing is it's so well color coordinated. It's just, I mean, nailed it, Holly. Seriously, you nailed it. Here's a little um, foam lollipop that's full of glitter and this is definitely going um, on my desk. And um, I am actually changing rooms right now. And any of you that have a, a scrap room or a craft room and have ever had to switch it will know the pain that I am in right now because there's so many little bits and baubles and stuff that I was hoping would never get touched. And now I have to move it from one side of the house to the other. So, but the good news is I'll get a bigger space. So um, that's awesome, but I'm not looking forward to it. So today I'm actually filming in my bedroom on the ground and I use this little rug that I thought would add some interest to it so um, anyways that's where I'm at and once I get set up then I'm gonna show you I have a little um, silver vase where I have it's like a little vintage vase and it's full of all of the um, altered wands and clips and stuff that I've gotten so far so that I can enjoy it it's like candy to my soul to be able to look at it every day when I go in there and it just brings me so much inspiration and just plain joy and so I'll share that with you guys once I get my room set up and maybe we'll do like a little room tour. So another piece that we'll be joining that is going to be this beautiful um, wand that she made and so Holly used a stirrer here instead of a straw and one thing that I noticed before I was saying that the real estate um, portion of this is great because instead of using a thick clunky straw that's going to take up too much room this slides in very easily and so I'm definitely gonna be scrap lifting this um, and so let me go over the the wand really quick so it's on a stirrer and then it's got a beautiful, um, looks like a die cut rosette in a beautiful 
glitter blue paper. And then Holly, I'm thinking this is a little bell and it came in white and then you glittered it. Is that accurate? And how did you do that? So I'll have to, I'm gonna be emailing you in a little bit to find out some, some stuff if I can remember. So cute, now listen. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> That's happiness. And then it's layered on a um, crocheted um, little circle. And did you make this too? I feel so inadequate. Um, I cannot crochet or knit to save my life. I, I, the details are too tedious for me and I can't do it. My mom's tried to teach me several times and it, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it, but I love it. I, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. And put this down here. And then guys, <laughs> look at this. So I think that um, this is using a fuse tool, which I've been contemplating getting a fuse tool and I didn't really know that I'd use it. I've seen some videos where people say it's, you know, uh, one of their go-to items for crafting and then other people that say that they don't ever use it and it sits there and I don't wanna be the latter, but this might have changed my mind. I, adore this I absolutely oh my gosh there's nothing of this that I don't love the iridescence of the sequins in his little body and then these little black tiny ones so cute so cute and it's as cute from one side as it is to the other and then listen oh it's so cute and then there's another one where'd he go Oh, and it's his little mitten, and look in here. So she's got some little um, beads in here, tiny, tiny little blue beads with some sequins and some uh, little snowflakes, and then the bottom is the cuff, and it's in red, and again, listen. <laughs> you know, I used to live in, in Texas, so I, I'd be like, y'all. This is amazing, so cute. Seriously, I am so blessed. Like, I can't even believe um, that I got this. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. I I love it so much, I, I really do. Holly, you, it couldn't have been more perfect. Ah, okay. Um, let me describe the, um, the actual envelope to you because there's so many details here, so. Um, let's start here with um, the pocket. So all the stuff that I just pulled out was in this pocket. And what's great about it is it doesn't lay flat. It has like a curvature to it so that sh you can actually add stuff. And so maybe um, I'll see if Holly has a tutorial for it. This might be using Michelle's um, tutorial to build the envelope. Um, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to show you the whole thing. So hang on a second. Let me turn it slowly. Luckily, the back still looks the same. I know that, but I don't know any of the others. Okay, and you can see there's gussets on the side. It looks like Michelle's design, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, which I think Michelle leaves, like she cuts this piece a little bit bigger and then she glues it down and then glues this edge down and so it kind of creates a, a curvature, um, which I haven't done and I don't know why because my pockets are flat and I can't fit anything in them. So um, then again, so it looks like, I'm thinking these are, like I said, a digital line that Holly printed and then she fussy cut, but it could be die cuts because, I mean, it's cut almost perfect. So, um, but what she did is she added all these great um, touches to it. So the shoes and their feet and little uh, noses and beaks are glossy accented. Can you guys see that? And then on the accessories, she has put stickles all around and it gives it so much dimension and then she layered these guys on some um, plastic snowflakes and I all do, I've been forgetting the word snowflake and then here this little guy he's holding a little bead here and it's in the shape of a heart and it's like little pearl beads so cute and then if that's not enough 
then look how cute this is. So Michelle mimicked, you know, the little pom-pom at the end of one of those uh, beanie hats. And look at this, she put a little um, rhinestone, little bling on the end of it. How cute is that? Look at this thing, so cute, so cute. And then on the bottom, it's layered on top of um, little rhinestones in blue, so cute. Um, and just, it's so layered. It's so great. This is, it's beautiful. Then as you'll notice, the background paper is more snowflakes. And in the center of the snowflakes, um, Holly actually put rhinestones in it. And what a beautiful touch. So um, the theme throughout is impeccably done because there's, she ties in the, the blues perfectly and then the rhinestones and bling perfectly. Then on in the center, she's got a garnet. It feels like a felt um, uh, poinsettia. And then in the middle is another little bling rhinestone, actually a big bling rhinestone. And it's layered on some beautiful blue rosettes. And then on where she folded the envelope over, she actually put rhinestones all the way up the sides and then layered the little birdies on top and how cute is that you guys see all those details it's so great so again the inside is not how it was and I apologize um so we'll start with this and it's some yummy rock candy which I think um I know who's gonna be fighting me for that and then a um delicious candy cane and if I this is probably blueberry flavor, but look at the colors, just so awesome. Um, here is another rosette, again on a stir, and it's using um, some glitter paper for the rosette. And then I think this is one piece. This bling, super cute. It's got a blue um, rhinestone center, and then around it, it's got little white rhinestones, as you can see super cute and I'm thinking that this is either like a Cricut or um, silhouette die cut um, but it could be a punch too I just got the Tim Holtz um, punch for the rosettes but I have not um, tried it yet so I'll have to see but if that's if it looks like this if that's it I'm gonna be very happy with it because this is beautiful okay so, um, now here, I guess I'll, I'll go in the order I think. Look at these guys. Okay. So, I had to open them up because they are puffy stickers. How great is this? Okay. So, there's iridescent, um, like sequins inside there. And I don't know if the camera is picking that up. So hopefully you can see the image of them because they are amazing. Hold on. Let me get a little closer here. Let's see if we're in frame. Look at this. <laughs> How cute are those? So we've got a little um, jolly little Santa. A dapper little snowman with his top hat this adorable little owl a whimsical reindeer it looks like a, a little um, gingerbread candy house this is a little dapper owl with an with a top hat to match and then a um, beautiful Christmas tree, another jolly Santa, and then a, um, a little cute penguin wearing a hat and a scarf. And this is so cute. Did you buy these? I don't, I need to know. I don't know if I'm gonna use these because I don't wanna use them. I want to hoard them. These might go like in a shadow box on my wall. Look at this, guys. Look at that sparkle. Ah, I love it. Holly, I love it. I love it, love it. See, guys, what I'm talking about, that it's a feast for your hands as well as your eyes. 
um, this beautiful tag that Holly made using the die cuts again with the stickles on their um, accessories. And then she punched out a, um, a cute little snowflake here on the corner. And then she layered, I love this, um, it's a um, like a page flag on top of the tag and I'd never seen that and I love it. I'm gonna be scrap lifting that. And then, if that's not enough, it's got an eyelet that matches beautifully and look at this tool. She's got some red, some white, and some blue and it is all very glittery and sparkly. So cute. So cute. Okay, look at this, guys. Let me get... Oh, I just noticed something had fallen out. Okay, hang on. Let me cover this up for a second so you can see this. It is a pinwheel, and she made it using a straw and acetate. What a great idea, I love this. It gives it another texture that just is just great. It's great. I love it because it mimics like ice. Um, I don't know, what a great idea, Holly. And then she's layered it with a um, plastic snowflake and then topped it off with um, a rhinestone, a blue rhinestone. How cute is that? And I didn't notice before, but this little guy had fallen out. So cute. I wonder if this is like in a pack for, um, like for cupcakes. I don't know if that's what this is, but it's so cute. It's like one of those, um, you, um, they're like decorations and you pull them open like this. And they're like, it's like honeycomb layered. Really cute. That was probably like here. Sorry. Okay, she gifted me these two, oops, they're not straws, they are pencils, and this one's silver, and this one's blue glitter, and doesn't it look like it was just dipped in snow? It's so cute, I love it. These are definitely going in my Midori, so that I can uh, write with them. Okay, hang on one sec, sorry. Okay. Okay. Holly does not know this about me, but I love puffy stickers. I love them. I don't know if it's since I was a little girl and I had um, a notebook with stickers. Did you guys have those? Um, I want my daughter to have one too because I, I, I wish I still had mine. It was such a great, great thing collecting stickers. But um, on the bad side is how can I use these? And they're duplicates kind of, like there's two foxes and one has a white pom-pom and one has a red pom-pom, but how would I choose the red with the white? And I don't know, I don't, I might hoard these two. I have a problem, I really do. Look at this guy, so we've got a little fox and look at this little penguin girl with the pink bow in her hair and this chubby little um, snowman. And guys, look at this. It's a little polar bear, and then with his little ears or little fluffies. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then this little penguin boy, and he's wearing like a little Peter Pan hat, again with a little pom-pom. Look at this guy, he's so adorable. He's a little chunky monkey little reindeer with a fluffy nose, and I love him. I love him. And then the others are the repeats, but again, I said, how can I choose one? And they're different, they have different personalities. So I don't know, I guess stay tuned to, um, once I do the December Daily Share and see if I, um, I use them, I should. Oh, I love them so much. We'll see. Oops. Okay, so this is so cute. Oops, we're coming apart here. Um, this is a foam snowflake and it's very similar to the foam snowflakes that ha um, no sorry that Michelle sent me I don't know if um, you guys got them at the same place um, and I love them like I just want to take a bite out of it and eat it 
But what's so great about this is I believe Holly, I think this is like the stuff that you get in the floral department. It's um, like maybe the stems. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about the floral department at all. Um, so, but I think from when I remember when my mom used to do crafts when I was little, she used to use some stuff like this. So I think that's what it is. But what is really great about this is that look at how thin it is. So you can totally stick it in here very easily and you don't have the bulk. Where's that? Where's he? There he is of the straw. I mean, look at the difference in the size. And so I'm definitely going to um, find out what she used here and I'm going to definitely scrap lift it because um, what a great idea. And then you can get more um, bang for your buck inside your envelopes. Okay. So you guys ready? We're going to turn over. No, oh, it's so cute. Okay. So let me start with the construction. So Holly has made an envelope or a little pocket here and has um, punched out some little holes and then woven this beautiful, it feels like velvet red um, ribbon through it and then flanked it with these adorable red um, glitter bows. So cute and I love bows. And then she continued the theme of the snowflakes with the rhinestone middles. How cute. But I think for me, the showstopper is this fringe. I'm not sure, Holly, did you make this or did you buy it? Um, I love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> and then it looks like she took the rhinestones, like similar to the ones up front, and then maybe cut one row. And I don't know why, but I've never thought of doing that. And sometimes the two rows... Um, because I have some of this trim and I think I might even have one that has three rows maybe but um, I can't believe I never thought of just using you know cutting it and using one row not only do you get double your money's worth but sometimes you don't want the two rows one row is pl is plenty and this is just precious look how cute this looks with the little bling metal I love this absolutely love this and um, she made me a little altered um, paper clip here and it's intertwined in the the ribbon so I'm gonna have to take that out but oh I wonder no I can't do it on camera I'll do it afterwards but it's a snowflake rosette in um, glittered gray paper or silver paper and then it is layered with a red glittered paper snowflake with another little bling blue rhinestone um, in the middle. And how cute is that? Okay, oh, let's start with the pen. Whoops, sorry about that. How cute is this little guy? Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors. I love the little fat snowmen. So cute, and this is going to be my go-to pen for the rest of the year, um, maybe beyond, in my Midori for sure. And then let's start with this. And so um, I'm thinking, Holly, that you made these envelopes. So the front is using some glitter paper, and it's either a punch or a die cut, I'm guessing. And then on the back, it's got a um, little glittered foam um, uh, snowflake. And then inside is R three beautiful tags and look at this so what a great idea to make these tags but um, what took Holly to the next level is that she actually put eyelets inside of all the uh, the tops and then finished them off with some um, beautiful white seam binding how cute are those put that there okay here is another envelope that she made and it is using, hang on one sec, my uh, tissue paper here is blowing all over the place. The air in this room hits right here so, um, so it's making noise, so I just moved it. But um, she made a vellum pocket and then on top here's another one of those um, snowflakes from Dollar Tree and I have to tell you that I only have one left 
and I need to go back and I went the other day but I couldn't find them so hopefully um, I can still get my hands on them because they're so great um, they're great because they're flat but they add so much dimension with the little like um, eyelet trim or eyelash trim and then Holly added a, a red rhinestone bling in the center of it it's so cute and then the back again is um, with a um, Oh my goodness, I just broke the little, um, see, because I couldn't remember the name of a snowflake little sticker. And then the inside are these um, journaling cards. And look how cute. And um, I'm not sure, but they might be stickled, as you can see here, or they might have come like that. I'm not sure, but um, super cute. So this one says Snow Fun. Here, it's Build a Snowman. <laughs> Look at this little guy. You know what? That's got glossy accents. I bet you she made it. And also, uh, I apologize. I should have said it earlier for my hands, but um, I was in the middle of making another loaded envelope um, when I remembered that I have to fill in this video today, get it out by tomorrow. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, look at this one. She added a bling. I'm thinking that Holly actually embellished all of these cards and what a great idea. I never thought to do that. Instead of just a normal um, journaling card, adding some pizzazz to it by embellishing it a little further. Here's a little glossy accent heart. Great job. Love this. Look at that. So cute. Oh, oops, probably my favorite with a little red rhinestone. Super cute, Holly, love it. And this little guy, this vellum, I love vellum, love vellum. Like one of my favorite um, materials to use, to see, to touch. And this is definitely right here, as you see this little guy, he's going to my December daily. Absolutely in love with him. Okay. So now um, we've got favorites. So um, Holly's favorites are her Power XL Air Fryer. And um, I have to ask you about that, Holly, because I just got one and I didn't, maybe I don't know how to use it. So I'll have to check what mine is, what brand it is or whatever, and maybe um, pick your brain on it because I would love, I've, Heard great thing. I mean, it's great because you. I think if it's if it's the same thing that I have, you only put like a t teaspoon of oil and you can make French fries with it. Um, so yeah, definitely have to um, pick your brain. YouTube videos, me too. Love YouTube. Um, collecting craft supplies, <laughs> me too, Holly. I have a problem. Oh, cheese and wine, me. Too. Two. Right now, I'm doing a very strict diet. It's called Advocare, if any of you that have ever heard of it. And unfortunately, I'm not allowed to eat like anything yummy. And cheese and wine is going to be my first um, splurge once I, I finish. I'm doing a 24-day challenge. So um, it's only 24 days. I'm on day 11 today. So, and I'm doing okay. So <laughs> wish me luck for the rest of the days. And um, definitely... Um, cheese trays with like um, apricots and or jam oh I love 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 and then Christmas you and me both love Christmas and then her currently she's currently Christmas shopping um, I still have stuff to do because um, I am not on time like I'd like to I'm reading the ringmaster's wife well, I'm gonna have to look that up um, how do you like it? Is it good? Waiting for snow. You know what? I'm waiting for snow too, but I have a feeling I will never get snow here. Uh, finishing crafts. Yes, me too. I'm doing loaded envelopes and getting ready for the holidays. Yeah, what a great, great time of year. Uh, my kids were saying we've kind of ruined it for them. <laughs> my husband and I are both doing the Advocare together, and so the kids are mad because usually, you know, we have a lot of junk around the house and stuff, and so they thought this Christmas we were just going to, you know, continue that tradition and eat whatever we felt like, and 
uh, we're not in so but it's gonna be a better 2017 for everyone for us doing this and um, also let me show you that Holly put stickles on her favorites lists and did you did you print these Holly because um, I might need that file or if you can share with us that would be awesome because this is a great idea again embellish it something that would just be cardstock now becomes you know super cute and actually um, this is gonna go in my December daily for today that this is what I did today is I opened up Holly's envelope and if she didn't spoil me enough then she added oops these little guys are hold on one sec are slipping these little um, foam glitter they're like little ornaments super cute I'm going to use them today I love them <laughs> there is nothing that I do not love honestly I love it and then um, check out the back seriously no detail spared she did stickles on this um, what's this stuff called um, uh, what is it called it's not gingham it is Argyle Argyle <laughs> sorry she did stickles all around look how nice that is just another little touch that just brings it from beautiful to stunning and then she ran a um, trim of glittered snowflakes and it looks like they're attached so it was probably um, e again either a punch or a die cut but um, Okay, I'm going to put you on hold and actually I'm going to leave you running and I'm going to yell over to my daughter so that she can come and check that little guy out. Hang on one sec. Okay, so she's actually taking a shower right now because we are actually going to be heading out in a little bit. So I'm going to have my son here and remember he um, is not as uh, <laughs> excitable as she is, but I bet he is. Here, come sit right here. Can you say hi to everyone? Hey. <laughs> okay, so I want you, you have to go right here. You have to have your hands right here. Oops, come over here. You don't have to go in the camera, but just so that they can see you. And then open that up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, put it, you're not, you're out of camera. There, you're in camera right there. So you know what it is? Cake? Yeah. But, It's a squishy. <laughs> That's so cool. Is that awesome? That's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. <laughs> and you know what? I think that Holly um, has a YouTube channel and I think that she has a tutorial on how to make these. So maybe we'll have to check it out and, uh, and uh, see. That's yeah. That's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. I'm going to actually pause the video until sh uh, my daughter gets out of the shower and then. Um, I'll share with you her reaction. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and so she's here um, and I'm gonna show her. Okay, come on. Okay, um, go ahead and sit right here. You have to be in screen so you've gotta go over there. Look what's in the middle there. Oh my gosh. Do you know what that is? It's like a cupcake but like. Go ahead, grab it. <sighs> what is it? Oh my gosh, it's like a. I don't even know. It's like a squishy little thing. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed with squishies, so, um, <laughs> is that great? Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh my god. And I was telling your brother that I think that Holly might have a tutorial on how to make that. So really? We'll, yeah. So <laughs> We're making it. <laughs> so we'll have to check that out. Isn't that great? That's so cool. All right. Well, as she plays, finished playing with that, I just want to thank you all for watching. Um, thank you again for your subscribes, your likes, and your comments. It means so much to me. I'm so blessed that you guys are enjoying the channel. Um, let me know in the comments anything that you want to see or anything that uh, you absolutely love. <laughs>
Uh, again, thank you so much. Keep looking out. Like I said, I have lots of swaps coming, so I have a lot of um, shares of really yummy stuff that I'm getting and that I'm making. So have a great day. See you soon. Bye.